Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Luna the Shadow Dust. Last time we left off we made it to a new room after solving a couple of puzzles and finding a new friend. So I had my controller in my hand because I'm so used to playing these games with my controller. Games that I record I mean. But no, we're not going to be doing that. We're playing this one with our mouse. Alright, so I don't see much to click on in here. I noticed this. Chili pepper is fire, or just pepper in general. Fish is water, and mushroom is wind. Cool, got it. I doubt that is the solution. I'm just being stupid. All right, what do you do? Fish. And yeah, that's peppers. Okay, so I, I was correct on all of those things, at least. So I'm guessing that needs to be red when I have... The peppers there? Not really sure what to do with most of the other things here. Okay, so I can't get through that door because that bramble's in the way. Hmm. I imagine I probably have to burn it. Let's uh let's bring the fire out. With this. Okay, so let's switch to you. What can you do in this room? Hmm. I was thinking you may get up here and interact with this character, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, you you hop on the bellows. Cool. So you get the you get the fire going. Can you click on anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So the bellows is going. We just need to Get these into the pot, I guess. Hmm. How do how does one do that? How do peppers get into pots? Hmm. Maybe you can help me, Mr. Mouse? No, I just covered you with my head. I don't think that's what I want to do. Hmm, there just doesn't seem like there's a lot else to interact with. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much else, so it's mostly just the things we have available to us right now. Which, I guess, the only other real thing to do is change this. Okay, so that isn't... Got it. So that isn't a, uh... That isn't like a color-changing thing like it was in the first room. Okay, so what are you doing? What's the deal with you, alright? Huh? Oh, I think I see what we're gonna do here. So we make you eat things, and depending on what we feed you... You do different elements? So if I had had you eat the fish, you were gonna spit out water. But we need you to burn this, so... Okay. Now I imagine we probably need our cat friend to jump on it? Yeah. Yeah, go. Go jump. Can you uh, get down? Thank you. Or that's not the case? Huh. I thought I thought I would have you jump on its head again. Oh, wait. Do we have to... Yeah, okay. So we have to kind of jump up here and then jump on its head. There we go. So we burned that away. Okay. Okay, but now it's on fire, so I imagine what we have to do now is do the water solution here. So we gotta get the fish to go ahead and put the fire out, and then I imagine we use the wind to blow it away. So not a too complicated of a puzzle there. Still a pretty interesting one. I'm kind of happy it wasn't too complicated or else I would have made myself look like a dunce again. By one, not uh, mi like misremembering what some phases of the moon are, and two, just not getting that puzzle at all. So we don't want that. Huh. I'm kind of surprised this thing keeps its shape when I'm pushing it. You think you would just roll it and it would just roll like a ball. But no, it's kind of just keeping its shape. He's just pushing it like it's a boulder. Or she. I actually don't know the gender of our main character here. It's kind of uh, ambiguous. And 
Go ahead and put that fire out. Oh, was that not what I was supposed to do next? Hmm. Maybe we have to... Maybe we do wind next. Because that would, like, make the fire bigger? Like, that would... That would, like... Because you're, you're giving wind to the flames that just, that just feeds the fire. So maybe that's what we want to do? So the fire kind of encompasses the entire thing? I thought we were just going to put it out and then, like, blow the ashes away. With the wind, I guess. But that doesn't seem to be the solution at all. It's too bad we don't have some earth right now, or we would have all of the, uh... Elements, you know? For Avatar and... Honestly, many, many other things. A lot of things use that whole... Wind, fire, water, air... Kind of thing. And earth. Huh, so that... I didn't do anything either. Am I not getting it close enough? Uh, did we do all the things? No, we do we do refill here. Was the creature not close enough when I did it before with the water? It might have been the case. I'm gonna give that a shot, but I'm not I'm not gonna make everybody watch me uh, do the same thing I just did. Once again, so I'll I'll cut out this slow process of getting the fish back over there. Okay, so it, it worked that time. I must just not have been close enough before. So yeah, that 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 must have that must have been the issue. So that was that was my bad. I didn't know I actually had to be a certain distance away from it. So now we just need to do wind to I guess blow those brambles away. Unless we can just kinda tap the brambles to get them to go away. No. Sadly, we cannot. So now we just gotta get the mushrooms over there again. Which I guess we've seen before as well, but uh... I guess I can talk through this one. We don't need to cut it all out. Cats run under me. I guess they're chasing each other right now. You two should calm down. I'm currently filling up a rat with various things to make it spit out different elements. Honestly, a pretty useful uh, technique for a rat to have, you know? Based off of what it eats, it can use these various things as defense against predators. Alright, up you go. And you blow that charcoal away, if you would so kindly. Please work. Yeah, that did it. Cool, cool. So now we can leave the room. Yes. Alright, you too. Go. Alright, what you got for me next floor? What kind of crazy puzzle you gonna throw at me now? In the next escape room. This is a pretty cool concept. I wish they had something like this in like real life. Like a tower of escape rooms, basically. Okay, so... Initially what I notice here are these various things on the wall. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's much to click on here, although these symbols could potentially mean something. Hmm. Do any of the creatures look like this? Yes. Looks like you. Okay. That's something important to note. Okay, so that switches it to a different creature. Got it. What do you do? Okay, so you're the conductor. That means Kitty must be the one that plays the piano? Okay, so that must be... Hmm. That must be some sort of code. I'm probably going to need to write that down, because... I imagine what needs to happen here is we need to play it in that order. So let's see that, and I will write it down. So it was... The left, right... Okay. This is gonna take a bit. Left, right... And then I think it was the one... Uh... Yeah. 
above the one to the right. So top right or yeah, top right. Okay, so left, right, top, right. Left, right, top, right. Okay, the cocoon. Cocoon. And I don't remember what came after the cocoon. I think it was this one. I know the cocoon is used twice. It doesn't seem like that bird at the top is used any, the top left. Okay. Cocoon. Okay. Okay, I think I've got it now. So cocoon. Then... No, let's, let's get it one more time just to be sure. So it's cocoon, and I think it was the one below the cocoon, then the one towards the right, and then the cocoon again. Cocoon, that one, that one. Okay, so never mind. It was the opposite. I'm glad I checked. So cocoon. Bottom. Right. Then it was below cocoon. And then it was just cocoon again. Okay, so now that we've got that written down, we have the input that we need, as it were. All right, and I guess you're the conductor. I mean, you're the actual player here. Whoa, I didn't expect you to get eaten. Excuse me? What? There's two of you now? <clears throat> Oh, okay, never mind. No, I see what I gotta do here. Okay, so we gotta create copies of you that, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, I get it. Well, can I actually reset this? Because I don't, I don't need all of you. That, that was done in error. Can I, can I, like, murder you or something? Because <laughs> I don't, I don't need that many of you. You're the one, you're my main one, yeah. So, you need to... You need to move over here so I can tell you apart from the rest of these, I guess. Oh, wait, is that something? Oh, that's... Okay, so maybe we get them on these different pedestals, depending on what... So you were... That bird. Let's see... I think that's this one? Which it is... So I'm guessing this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's numbered. It's... Oh wait, no, it's not. Wait, three, two, yeah. So one, two. No, there's there's seven, but this one is zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that particular creature, which is below cocoon, was in the second to last spot. So you need to move over here. <clears throat> All right, and now we get back to you. Oh wait, no, first you, because we got to change which creature we're getting now. So now the cocoon, we need two of those. So you can can you can you just move over here to the door because you're you're not needed. Thank you. All right, so we need two cocoons, because one cocoon is in the fourth spot and one cocoon is in the last spot. So we're going to need uh, two of those. All right, where's my uh, cocoon? You're, you're my normal one. You, though, get in the last spot. And we need one more of those. This is a neat little idea for a puzzle. It seems like this, uh, it seems like this game likes to use like the background elements as like to showcase an answer for the puzzle, as it were. Okay, so you're in the fourth spot, which in this case has three dots because it starts with zero. All right, so back to you. Oh wait, no, not back to you because we need to be able to change it to something else. Hmm. All right, what is that? That's you. And your bottom right, so you would be in this spot. And yes, we do need one of you. So go ahead and hop up there. 
Seems like the only one that's not used is this like bean shaped one up here, this bird. All right, you, <clears throat> you're gonna go get in the, wait. Left, right, top right, cocoon, bottom right. So yeah, 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 right here. Just making sure I have it correct. Okay, so now what do we need? So left, right, let's see what the next one is, I guess. You are this one which is top right. So you go into the third space. So yes, we do need one of you. So you're gonna go right here. What a neat little puzzle. I'm pretty perplexed by this machine that can apparently create copies of a creature that you get to sit on the chair. It's a weird bit of machinery. I'm not crazy, right? Okay, you. Yeah, you're like the mushroom thing over here, so you're just right. So you go into the second spot. We're almost done. We only have two more to do. I'm sad I created this poor thing. I, I gave it existence when it's not needed. There doesn't appear to be any way to get rid of it, so... <laughs> I guess it's just gonna have to live and suffer. Alright, and then left. So you, like devil looking one which automatically is the correct one okay so walk on over to the stool get sucked up alrighty so just gotta grab wait wait why did that not put out two Oh wait, okay, so I'm only I'm only actually allowed to have seven of these. And since I created this one, that's how I get rid of it. I just have to change its note. Okay, that makes a lot of sense actually. I get that. Cool, cool. I understand that. Uh oh. So now I now I have to copy it again after I have deposited it back into the machine. I should have thought to do that earlier, actually. Yes, we need you to be the other type. Thank you. So now you go over there and then we switch to our main character and we conduct. Hey, was that correct? Ooh. The drums are being played in the background now. That's some nice music. I always like that kind of flute uh, sound. So now I guess we just have to get out of here. Just wanted to enjoy the music for a second. It was some pretty good music after all. And out we go. On to our next puzzle. What do you got right side of the screen? So I guess we're probably going to do three rooms in this episode. Sounds like a good idea to me. Ugh, you look complicated. I really like the dragon uh, moose, though. What in the world is that? And also the unicorn? But the dragon moose is especially crazy. Alright, is there anything here in the backgrounds? Uh, oh, the leg is broken, so you don't want to go up it. Cool. I find it creepy that this thing's just staring at me. It's following me with its eye. I don't like you, sir. I don't like that you're staring at me like that. So I imagine I probably have to get a replacement peg for that ladder. From somewhere. Where, I am not exactly sure. Okay, well now we're just, now we're just vandalizing this tower. So yeah, the door is locked. I pulled that, it tapped that, which knocked the lantern down, I suppose. What exactly does the lantern have in it, though? It lit the room up. Hmm. What reason is there for that? 
Can you do anything that the other character can't do? Doesn't seem like it. You seem pretty limited in this room, at least so far. Oh, I didn't even notice the little dragon skeleton here. That's cool. I imagine we probably want you to get up on the shelves and knock something over, but... How to go about doing that, I have no idea. Hmm, so what would... Causing shadows actually do for me? I'm trying to pixel hunt here a bit. And it seems like now that we've turned it on, we can't turn it off. So... It must not be a situation where sometimes we want to have it on and sometimes we don't. Hmm. We can't pick that thing up off the ground. Because I thought maybe since that came off it would be useful somehow. Still can't open the door. I mean, I guess if we opened the door that would mean we solved the puzzle, which we've barely done anything in this room so far, so I don't think that's the case. Hmm. And yeah, we still can't do anything with you because of the broken peg. I feel like we're going to open this and there's going to be something inside of it. Some kind of useful item. Maybe if I get you to stare at the light too long? No. Hmm. Alright, well let's... Control you for a second, see if you can do anything interesting. Hmm. I was thinking maybe we had to do something with our character's shadows? Whoa, do you not cast a shadow? Yeah, this character doesn't cast a shadow. Weird. Oh, you can go up the ladder. Okay, that's what I was missing. Hmm, but now that you're up here, you can't really do anything. So maybe we need the other characters to just simply push the ladder? No. That's not what I want you to do. Okay, that just makes you fall again. Hmm. Okay, so what do we want to do now that you're up on top of that ladder? There's got to be something. Although there really doesn't seem to be anything. I mean, you're up there, but I'm just... Oh, wait, what is that? Oh! Oh, whoa, that's super cool. So you're in, you're in like, <laughs> the Shadow Realm. Um... Okay... Well then... Can I move myself over here and, yeah, you jump off my head? Yeah, that is definitely the answer. Oh, this is such a cool concept. So now I just have to close that... And that goes away. Oh no! Okay, so he got knocked down by the bird, so I guess I gotta be fast on the draw with this? So, I gotta... As soon as I do this, I have to quickly move the, um... Oh wait, yeah, you need to jump up there first, and then you need to jump on my head. So let's close this... And close that. Okay, so one of them has to be open at all times. Got it. Interesting. So, I guess we gotta find a way to get him across while also dodging the bird? Which is easier said than done, I imagine. A little buddy hop up there. Hmm. Okay, so... I feel like what I'm thinking probably isn't intended. Which is, do this, get him to jump across really quick, and then... Hmm. Because it's going to need to jump on my head, so we're going to have to do... Something about the bird. But he can't really move that quickly. I feel like the bird's going to hit him... You know what, we got to try it. Okay, no, it takes the bird a second. Okay. Oh, but now the... now it's over here. Okay. Okay, so that is what I had to do. Cool. So yeah, now the plant is coming out over here. And if you would just kindly hop on my head. Thank you very much. Whoops. No, I don't want you to walk into that spike. That would be bad. So, no, you're not going to do that. 
Okay, so we want you to do that. You to hop up there. No, close it. Damn it. I was too slow. Okay, I think I'm getting it though. I kind of understand what I did that other time. I just kind of had to make the uh, plant up here in a different place, as it were. Uh, oh yeah, you gotta actually hop up there, then hop up there, then get over here. Oh wow, I, I actually made contact with it? Weird. Huh. I, I could have sworn I got that close before and it didn't kill me. Okay, so let's stop right there then, I guess. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to stand right here again, do that, and then immediately go over here and hit the bird feathers. There we go. So now that has moved over there. Now I just need to jump off your head to get up there. Now the question is, what do about the bird? Because, yeah, it's going to appear over here no matter what. Can I close the thing with... Doesn't look like I can close this. And the bird seems much too fast for me to actually get up onto the books before the bird hits me. Like, I would have to, I would have to be pretty, pretty quick to pull that off. Uh, how, how long are you actually there? No, well, we have a bit of time, but it's so close to the, our friend here. There's nothing else I can interact with, right? There doesn't appear to be. And I can't jump back over there because that's where the... Uh, spikes actually spawn. And I can't stand here and just let... Uh, our cat friend chill on top of my head because then I can't go hit this. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what I need to be doing here. Because, yeah, I feel like by the time I select cat friend, it's going to be too late. Okay, we're good. Never mind, I was freaking out for nothing, basically. Oh, jeez, but now it... Oh, what the hell? Damn it. Okay, well, I'm gonna get back up there, I guess. I didn't know the bird was gonna come back and go a different direction like that. I didn't know it was gonna re-aim, as it were. I thought it was just gonna keep going the same way, so I wasn't too worried about it, but... I'll get over there and uh, cut this part out, since we've seen it now in great detail. All right, so there we go. Now we just got to deal with the spikes being here, which... Where am I even trying to go in this situation? Because once I get there, where do I where do I go after that? I don't actually know what I'm trying to click. Maybe... Oh, I bet I just have to jump onto that. Like the unicorn horn. Okay, so if I take that away, bird is there, and bird is coming for you. So, get down there, and then hop on there. There we go. We did it. Puzzle solved. And I think this is probably where we're going to go ahead and end this episode off as soon as we walk out of the room. So, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Luna the Shadow Dust, and I will see you next time.